Welcome to the talk on Deep Ear, robust smartphone audio sensing and unconstrained acoustic environments using deep learning, presented by the Stanford Scholar Initiative. Communication is an essential part of civilization. When we communicate, the literal meaning of the words we say are influenced by the context, which is the background information, implied meaning, and emotion, conveyed not through the words alone, but also the way we speak. Machines often do a poor job of audio sensing, which means extracting the second part, the context, from the audio signal. In traditional audio sensing, statistical models of the noise are constructed by mapping the sound to their literal expression. Features extracted from these histograms are used to classify the audio. Hidden Markov models, or HMMs, are most suitable to generate such statistical models. Thus, the HMM lies at the heart of virtually every modern audio sensing system. Accurate audio sensing is quite a Herculean feat for machines to achieve due to the following challenges. 1. Accounting for environmental factors, such as noisy appliances, furniture amplifying sound, or people talking in the living room. 2. The difficulty of identifying and filtering background noise. Imagine you are far away from your mobile device. Should your voice be picked up as noise or not? 3. Segregating the audio signal is a difficult task because machines receive weighted data from microphones that have tendencies for certain frequency ranges. And 4. Real-time processing and results are required, making the task computationally expensive and power-hungry. Rather than developing such a model that is highly susceptible to changes and error-prone, the authors developed a generalized framework called Deep Ear that is based on deep learning. It is robust in a diverse set of environments and is energy efficient on mobile devices. Instead of extracting specific features for classification, deep learning learns to extract the features automatically from the data. It requires a large labeled data set to learn from because of the sheer number of parameters. Getting this large labeled data set is very difficult. To solve this, the supervised model is initialized with weights learned using unsupervised pre-training. For the supervised classification, a synthetic dataset was created. The supervised model is trained over this dataset to classify the audio. The final model of unsupervised learning uses a stack of restricted Boltzmann machines, or RBMs, which are two layers of nodes connected to each other. Each connection has some weight, based on which the input of the hidden node is determined. It then passes through a ReLU activation function to give us features. The intuition behind this is to be able to reconstruct the input using features extracted. It's like sketching the human face from features described. The input is reconstructed using the weights which are a transposed form of those used to extract the features. To prepare the dataset for supervised training, unlabeled data from various background locations is mixed with the labeled dataset. Thus, each labeled audio spans various background environments. The RBMs are stacked over each other to create a deep neural net with five layers. Each layer of RBM is trained by assuming the output of lower layer as the input. This stack is a deep Boltzmann machine. The authors used 1,024 neurons for hidden layers in experimentation. While hidden layers of size 256 rather than 1,024 are used for the actual smartphone implementation. This is to save energy with only 3% less accuracy. Tackling four different classification problems, the input to each of them goes through a shared input layer. And then each model classifies that input independently. On average, Deep Ear makes absolute gains of 5% in ambient scene background, 10% in emotion recognition, 15% in speaker identification, and 20% in stress detection over the traditional model. Deep Ear offers higher average accuracy of consistently at least 80%. It does all this while using only 6% of smartphone battery on a day of continuous use. Deep Ear has helped pave the way for more sophisticated detection. In the past two years, deep learning algorithms have become commonplace in mobile audio technology, using less resources and time yet achieving even better results than the methods originally proposed in this paper. Future applications for this powerful approach range from psychometric analysis to transcription to ultimately creating machines that are more responsive to humans and can understand human interaction. Audio sensing plays a crucial role in changing our world. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to watch more of our talks, please visit scholar.stanford.edu.